One-point perspective is an illustration technique that uses one point of reference to generate three-dimensional picture on two-dimensional surface. When you select one-point perspective, you see first control handle, this mini tool icon bar, and a setting option. So what is this control handle? This control handle is vanishing point. This is the point where something disappears or ceases to exist. Or where two parallel lines seems to converge when represented in linear perspective. This vanishing point is located on horizon line. Horizon line is where sky seems to meet the earth. This is eye level of viewer from ground. If there is mid horizon line, you see equally both parts above and below the line. If you shift horizon line to upside, then you see more the ground part than sky part, cause the viewer is looking at this thing from high point. If the horizon line is downside, you see more the sky part cause the viewer is looking at this from low point. You can also shift the vanishing point. This is not bounded. Different position of vanishing point create different view angle of things. Now let's move on to settings option. Once you're satisfied with position of control handle, you can lock its position. You can also reset its position. And if you select rectangle or circle to draw something, these shapes follow the perspective line only if the snap is on. You can also place lines freehand, every line follows perspective grid. But if you turn off snap, neither these shapes follow perspective grid, nor freehand lines. One more thing, if the snap is on, line shape does not follow perspective grid, even the snap is on. This is visibility toggle of perspective, you can hide and show the perspective grid. In one point perspective, objects get smaller or become distant as they are close to vanishing point. Objects could be above and below the horizon line with different view angle. When you looking straight at something, surfaces of objects facing directly to you look undistorted. While the surfaces not facing you directly look distorted. Through using one point perspective, you can create more sense of depth in your drawing. Now let's get to the point. Download free color palette and sketch if you need. And also get brushes info for this drawing. So go and check out the description below. Now let's get started. Tap on tool menu. Then select one point perspective. Reposition the control handle slightly towards downside and then lock the position. Start off by adding rough detail. As you can see all the lines tend to merge at one point, as they go farther away. So we are drawing here bus stop shelter. And I am adding more architectural component of this framework. All the lines follow the perspective grid. This way, you can create more 3D view of your drawing. And things are more well suited according to environment. Reduce opacity and add one more layer. Now I am adding a stickman structure of human sitting on bench. Reduce opacity and add one more layer. Now add in rough detail of the human. This is basically a girl that is sitting on the bench and she is waiting for a bus because she is sitting in bus stop shelter. She has got her bag as well. Now add more rough detail to this shelter and to environment as well. This cube is basically for bus. Add buildings as well to make the scene look more natural. Add one more layer. Now add in fine details and also rectify your mistakes while doing this process.
Now let's add refined detail of bus stop shelter. For this house, snap is off. Now the final step is to refine your outline and make it look more presentable. Okay now first, let's change the background color and change the background color slightly yellow. And then after this add one more layer and arrange it below. Then select one point perspective. Hide visibility. Lock position of control handle. And select rectangle shape. Select color. Select solid fill. Now we are fully equipped. Let's do rendering. First add in color to buildings. Do the same with other side. Using same colors for buildings. Now add a rectangle for another house. Add dark color to this house, using rectangle. Add windows. Now turn off snap only for this part. Select color. And using path tool add top component of house. Now add details to windows. Now add some green portion to this environment of trees and plants. Select bright green color. Add bright shades to planting.
add color for road. Add one more layer. Now add colors for bus using monoline. You can use arc shape for its top part. Now select lazy tool and adjust these settings. Add in detail to bus. Now we are going to use only black and white color for adding detail. Reduce the opacity of solid fill. Make the color brighter. Increase opacity and add in details. Now add a layer and select color. Now, now let's make the base of bus stop shelter. This is bench. Add one more layer and apply clipping mask to it. Make the color brighter. Using HB pencil add detail to floor portion. Now using underneath color add more lines. Darken the color. Add slender lines. Add one more layer, change its blending mode to hard light. Now select Soft Airbrush. Add shades to bench. Now erase some part. Now blend the color using Hunter Blender. Now go to Multiply Mode Layer and using same bench color add lines.
now darken color and add more lines. Now go to hard light mode layer. Add bright lines to corners only. Now add black lines. Select color and darken color. Add in design for making tiles. Now go to fist clip layer. Add bright lines. Add bright color using soft airbrush. And blend color. Now merge clipping mask layers. And add a layer. Now draw ceiling of shelter. Now I am using line shape and it does not follow perspective grid. Create a layer. Add more architecture of shelter. Add an info panel. Erase some part of this panel. Now using black color add details. Now go to fourth layer. Select color and make it brighter. Reduce opacity of solid fill. Now draw glass. Now go to upper layer. Add in structure of shelter. Add shades using HB pencil.
Now add an outline using black color. Add shades using HB Pencil. Add an outline using Concept Pencil. Now add shades to ceiling. Blend colors. Do the same for other side. Now using reduced opacity of mono line, make hidden lines more visible. Add an outline using concept pencil. Now go to upper layer and add a layer. Add shades to structure. Add brighter color. Blend color. Erase extras. Add an outline. Make the color brighter. And with reduced opacity, add this color. Now add a layer. Now add color to girl. Add another layer and arrange it to below. Now add in more colors. Properly. Add one more layer. Darken color. Add in color to bag. Now merge these three layers. and add a layer. Add outline to girl.
Add a layer, change its blending mode to multiply. Duplicate this layer and change its blending mode to hard light. Now select girl layer and go to multiply layer. Add shadows using respective color of girl. Use the same color for shadows. Now go to hard light mode layer. First add shades using soft airbrush of respective color. Then using solid fill add more bright light. Blend some portion. Select outline layer and go to hard light mode layer. Select eraser. Erase the extra light. Add some bright color to outline for more natural look. Now add a layer below a girl. Add shadows. Reduce opacity of solid fill to lowest. Now increase a little bit. And add shadows. Add image to info panel. and add some text. Now merge the layers. Now select filters. Tap on blur filter. Apply blur filter to background. Now go to text layer. And apply blur filter to text. And it 